everyone. How are you all, my lovely lot? It is Wednesday. Hope you've had a lovely couple of days doing your homeschooling. Well done. Uh, as always, really proud of all of you. Um, we're doing some more work about the ending of words um, this week. So we're going to have a look at um, singular and plural words. Now, we've mentioned this before, but not a lot. So let's go through it. Singular means one thing, okay? And plural means more than one. So if I show you some pictures, now, as always, I've got lots of little bits down here. Um, so these things will help us today. Let me just, I've got the flappy bits of paper, so I'm gonna put them on my whiteboard to hold them up nice and straight. So here, look, I have got one cat, yeah? Here I've got two cats. Yeah, so this is singular, one cat, and this is plural, two cats. So we're going to do my turn, your turn, with the singular plural. All I want you to do is say it. So I'm going to say, I have one cat, and you're going to say, I have one cat. Yeah, so my turn. I have one cat. Your turn. Well done. My turn, I have two cats. Your turn. Great, did you notice what the difference then between cat and cats is? Have a little look. Well done. Cat, when it's singular, doesn't have any ending. When we're going plural, we add our S for cats, okay? Let's try it with, oh, let's go for the rabbit. So my turn, your turn. I'm gonna do the singular first. So my turn, I have one rabbit. Your turn. Well done. Now we're gonna go for the plural. I have two rabbits. Your turn. Super, well done. Now, plural isn't just two. It can be two, three, four, five, six, just basically more than one, yeah? Singular is always one, and plural is more than one. And again, we've got lots of rules to learn about adding how we um, add endings, because it's not always just an S. So today we're gonna look at one of those rules, okay? So let me get the right bits out for you so that I don't confuse you. And I don't confuse me, because that can happen. Right, so um, I should told you that. Right, we're going to have a look at one rule today, all right? So we're going to be thinking about nouns, okay? These are all nouns. A noun is a naming word of a thing, or an animal, or a person, or a place. So a dog is a noun. A pencil is a noun and a cat is a noun, they're all things, yeah? And we're gonna look at doing singular and plural nouns, okay? So, we've said this, haven't we? Plural, what does plural mean? Can you tell me what plural means? Well done, plural is more than one. So, one cat, that's singular, isn't it? Yeah, it's on its own. Plural, more than one. So here we've got three cats. And with the word cat, all we do is add an S on the end. Normally it's just adding an S, but there are some other things that we need to learn. So let's just double check. Let's go on with our adding an S. Okay, so we've got singular on this side. Oh, sorry, a bit flippy floppy. And plural on this side. So, we'll read them together. So, I'll read it and you read it after me. So, my turn, one dog. Your turn. Well done. Plural, my turn, lots of dogs. Your turn. Lovely. Next one. My turn, one door. Your turn. 
Well done. My turn for the plural. Lots of doors. Your turn. Super. This one, my turn for the singular first. One pencil. Your turn. Well done. And now the plural, my turn first. Lots of pencils. Your turn. Super. And the last one, one lamp. Your turn. Well done. And then the plural, my turn. Lots of lamps. Your turn. Well done. So for these ones, we've just added an S, yeah? And that is normally what happens, okay? But we have to be careful because it's not always just adding an S. Sometimes it's adding an E and an S, okay? So most words, we just put an S on the end. Some words, and we're gonna have a look at those today, you add an E and an S together. Okay? And it depends on how the word ends as to whether you add an S or an E and an S. And we're going to have a look at those today. So, if the word ends in any of these sounds, you add an E and an S. If it doesn't, you just add an S. Okay, So these are the sounds at the end of your words that you have to look out for. And these are the ones where we have to add an E and an S. So we've got Sh, ch, s, if it's got a double s at the end. S, if it's got one s at the end. X, if it's got an x at the end. And z, if it's got a z at the end. So you're looking out for these endings. If the word has got one of these endings, to make it plural, you add an E and an S. Okay, so we're going to have a practice, all right? And that's all we're going to do today. We're just going to have a little practice and then um, we'll do a bit more tomorrow and Friday on it as well. Okay, so I have got some words and we're going to have a think about how we make them plural, okay? So let's have a look at my first word. Let's see if you can read it. Off you go. Well done. The word is boat. Boat. Now, it's got a T at the end. That isn't one of the endings that needs an ES. So I would like you to write it now on your piece of paper. You might need to pause me for a minute. That's fine. Write it now as a plural, please. Well done. Have you done it? If you've not done it yet, just pause me and then press play in a minute. If you have done it, great. Let's see if we've got the same. So, boat. I see a boat. I see lots of boats. We just add an S because it hasn't got one of those different endings. Okay, so boat becomes boats. Well done. All right, we're going to look at another one that is just um, adding an S. So let's just double check. Let's have a go. Can you read my word? Well done. The word is g o o goal goal. Okay. Now it's not got one of our tricky endings, so we just add an S to make it plural. Could you write it down for me now, please? I would like you to write down goals. I scored lots of goals. Well done. Have you written it? If you haven't, just pause me. If you have, here comes goals. Did you do it the same as me? Goals. So we just add an S. Most of the time, we just add an S. So if you're never sure, just add an S, yeah? And then we can look at it, you know, we can talk about it afterwards. It's better to add an S than not add anything. Okay, here come some tricky ones now. All right, let's go for this word. 
Can you read the word? Well done. The word is k -r -os, cross. Now then, double S was on our tricky sound sheet here. So when we're trying to say crosses, we need to add an E and an S. So I saw one cross on my work. There were lots of crosses on my work. Oh no, I wonder what you did. Could you have a go at writing crosses now, please? Well done. If you've not quite done it, pause the video and press play when you've done it. Let's check we got the same. Crosses, yeah? Because cross ends in a double S, we add an E and an S to it. Crosses, well done. Okay, here come two more. Tell you what I might do is I might give you them both at the same time just to test you. So, I've got two words. I could just do with some blue tack, couldn't I, to stick them on, but I haven't got any, so I'll just hold them. Oops. See, there we go. That's why I could do with some blue tack, isn't it? Okay, could you read my word? My words, sorry. Well done. We've got d-ish, dish, and b -u -n -ch, bunch. Now, dish ends in the sh sound and bunch ends in the ch sound. Both those sounds are on my tricky sheet here. Yeah, we've got sh and ch. So when we see those at the end of a word, we have to add an e and an s. Okay, so I'm going to hold up dish and bunch. And I would like you to write them as plurals, please. I would like you to write dishes and bunches. Off you go. Well done. If you've not quite done it, just pause there. If you have done it, we're going to see if we've got the same. So we'll do dish and dish, dish to dishes first. Okay, one dish. I helped my grown-up wash the dish. I helped my grown-up wash the dishes. Yeah, did you get it? An E and an S. Well done. And then the last one. I bought a bunch of flowers. I bought some bunches of flowers. Did you get it? Did you add your E and your S? Well done. Okay. Whew. Tell you what, we're getting so good. Hard work, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Um, we're going to practice it again later this week and then after half term we'll be going over it all again so don't worry if you're forgetting some of the rules the more we do it the more we'll get used to them okay i'll see you all tomorrow bye bye